So here's my final story. On my 30th anniversary of serving here as the pastor at the Journey Church, um, the church family gave us this wonderful gift of walking the Camino in Portugal and Spain. You can look up your phones, you can Google it, so to speak, to find out all about what the Camino is. But essentially, it's an ancient Christian pilgrimage that um, you can take different walks, anywhere between up to 800 kilometers uh, to travel to a certain place and, and church in Spain. And I remember us getting caught up with the romance of that idea, and we actually shared it with some people that wouldn't that be neat to do? And then here we were at the 30th anniversary party, and the church did the big reveal and said, "Here's the money. You guys can now walk the Camino." And I and I remember looking over at Nancy and saying, "Oh my goodness! Now, I guess we've got to turn this talk into a real walk." And so we we trained for it, and, and I realized all of a sudden, getting yourself ready to walk 20 to 30 kilometers a day. Um, you know, it requires a certain amount of preparation. And I, I want to say, you know, we, we got ourselves as ready as we could and, and away we went. I remember, though, a few days into the walk that um, as you got up every day and faced this walking, that um, you needed to kind of have the right mindset. And we stumbled across this sign that we saw on occasion and it really became a motto for Nancy and I and for other people we met. And it was simply this sign that said, stay calm, keep walking. And I, I, I always remembered that sign. And actually when I came back and I was, you know, starting to face the next chapter here at the church, I would often, you know, say that to myself. And I think that that phrase is actually very appropriate as we all step out now into this next part of the journey of faith not just individually or not just within your families, but also as a church family and as a church community. You know, my phrase to all of us would be, let's stay calm and keep walking in the ways that God wants to lead us and, and the good things he's called us to do, uh, to um, keep exploring what it means to walk by faith, and not just by sight. You know, as I, as I think about that phrase for us, I just want to remind you that the reason why I think we can stay calm is because of what the Bible tells us, and two or three really important things. One is that, um, you know, God is with us. Um, the Lord is our shepherd. Um, even when we walk through dark valleys, you know, He is with us, and there's that promise of presence. I, I think about um, the, the, also the promise that God's working all things together for good to those who love him, Romans 8, 28. And, and that just means God, God is at work around us and through us, and, and I just think that also helps us to stay calm. And then I also just think about the mission of, of what Jesus gave to us as a church, that the mission is bigger than any one person or personality or whatever, but it's the mission that we've always have said around here. Um, we've taken, the, we sort of fuse Matthew 22 and Matthew 28, where we just say our mission that shapes our decisions, our choices, and it should shape our attitudes and our, our outlook is simply that our mission is to lead people to follow Jesus, to love God and love others. And, and we know that we can make a difference when we are all uh, being disciples of him. And that's, that's a call just for us as a church. You know, I, again, um, you know, I, I, I wonder what the road lays ahead for all of us in certain ways. I, I'm excited about what God's going to do. But I just want to remind you of these, um, well, of this, of this statement of faith um, that I think is appropriate now as, as I, and as we all come to a turn in the road. Let's just stay calm and keep walking.